Hello there, this is Ben, AI6YR, and just want to show you a new project that I'm working on just uh, halfway through this. This is uh, an old 1970s, maybe it's 1980s, um, all-in-one portable TV. And it's got a TV tuner and a radio tuner and uh, cassette tape. And it's, uh, uh, of course, you know, nowadays the TV standard doesn't work with these old TVs. Anyway, I figured I'd... Uh, I would uh, make this into something interesting. So what I've done is I'm about to figure out how to cram a Raspberry Pi into this. Uh, into this. So uh, let me show you what I've got. So go over here. Uh, this, if I put in focus, is a Raspberry Pi that I have sitting around the house, which is uh, one of the older models. I think it's a B plus. Um, and it uh, not doing much, so I thought I would take this and uh, hook it up to the to that TV. Now, in order to do that, it actually it outputs NTSC out of that yellow yellow plug there, yellow plug. But it does it in uh, it is not doing it in into channel three or channel four, which is what the TV is expecting. So over here, what I've got is an RF modulator uh, and there's a bajillion different models of this and you just plug in uh, your video from the Raspberry Pi and into this box and then this is uh, this is power and then there's uh, left and right audio and this outputs channel 3 so the TV would expect it that's an RF mo modulator so let me show you the other side of this TV there's an actually input for an external antenna and uh, that connector goes on to that coax uh, back to that RF modulator and so that'll get my TV into the portable or the TV the uh, Raspberry Pi signal into the TV so let's go ahead and turn on this cassette radio thing this is currently on FM band just you can hear it'll uh, should go to FM tuning here So go over here to TV. Turn the volume down. And uh, sorry if it's all out of focus. And there you have your TV display. So I don't have my uh, Raspberry Pi plugged in, but let me plug it in and see if it'll boot. Okay. So my Raspberry Pi is on. And there we go. I look familiar. Focus. And there you have a Raspberry Pi booting up on a uh, an old TV. See how long that takes to boot. So just uh, fun. You can tune this out. And unless you're in the right place, you're not going to get. The Raspberry Pi. And there we go. And it's a color TV, too. So now, go over here. Uh, it's still booting up. My file menu. And just for fun, go to videos, and here we go. VLC. Yep, so there you go. So there you go. There's a uh, Raspberry Pi running uh, running on an old TV and I don't have the internet in here so I don't have that connected but you can do that too uh, here we can run a the 
just for fun. Is Mag 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 Syndrome. And what you're about to witness is one of the most sinister sounding intros to a trailer to one of the greatest epics ever produced in the history of t t television. And there's more. Because you are. So, anyway, there you go. There you have a Raspberry Pi and uh, uh, Raspberry Pi connected into an old TV. My next step is to figure out if there's enough space inside that case to embed uh, that circuit board and whatever's inside that uh, RF modulator and cram it all inside this portable TV. Um, why? I don't know, but the, just thought it'd be fun. Uh, this has been AI6YR.